Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use XCSS version 2.1 frame generation in Rise of the Ron and running on ROG LI that has an AMD based GPU, Radian 780M. Enabling XCSS frame generation will automatically enable XCLL low latency mode which will help in cutting down the latency. I will also compare XCSS frame generation with the in-game FSR frame generation implementation. In order to gain access to the in-game XCSS frame generation setting, we just need to update the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones. In this game, the upscaler is decoupled from frame generation, so we can combine the in-game XCSS upscaler with either FSR frame generation or XCSS frame generation. No mods are required. Now I'll update the in-game XCSS files. Just download XCSS SDK version 2.1 from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section, click on the dot zip link here. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads, open XCSS SDK archive file that you just downloaded. Open bin folder, copy the highlighted files, three of them, libxcss underscore fg.tll, libxcss.tll and libxcll.tll. Open the games install directory, select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, replace the existing XCSS files with the latest ones. And that's it. We are ready to run the game. Adrenaline settings, VSync and VSync on. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install Alas latest official GPU driver that added support for Battlefield 6. Using a 20 sand watts manual profile, all the power values are at 20 sand watts. CPU boost disable. 720p resolution. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. This game is very poorly optimized on PC platform. On ROG Ally, if I run the game with an unlocked FPS, the game runs in a slow motion state. That's why I have applied a 30 FPS cap from the game settings. Display mode borderless required for using XCSS frame generation. We sync off resolution 720p. I'm using lowest to low settings, upscaler XCSS won't be changing it using the upscaler's quality preset, sharpness level 0.4. Frame generation disabled for the time being, as you can see we have access to XCSS frame generation. Dynamic resolution of <laughs> settings, lowest low. Targeting a log 30 FPS, not ideal for using any frame generation technique. Post processing effects, all of them disabled, motion blur especially. Ray tracing off, that's it. There's a character. Right now I'm in Yokohama village and you can see FPS is locked at 30. It's the same base FPS for both of these frame generation techniques. We'll see which one performs and looks better. GP load is close to 80%. Yeah, check out the animation quality, it's looking a bit jarring as expected. We are outside LS VRR range, that is 48 to 120. Okay, now I'll enable XCSS frame generation. Open system settings set frame generation to XCSS. A game restart is not required for activating XCSS frame generation. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Look at that frame pacing graph. So thick, inaccurate. A minor increase in latency. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, now I'll highlight some XCSS related graphical artifacts. When there's a tree behind my character and when I move the camera around with XCSS frame generation enabled, my character's head flickers, see? This flickering does not happen in the case of FSR frame generation. Something else happens. <laughs> My character's hair looks pixelated. I'll highlight it in the later part of the video. See? Very ugly flickering going on around my character's head. Algorithm is struggling to render my character's head properly. Okay, now I'll leak the village. Highlight another graphical artifact. Just observe the bottom edge of the display. You will see a thick strip of garbled textures. 
I hope it's visible right here. See, very noticeable. Okay, XCSS frame generation does not make a shadow flicker or look blurry. Shadow is looking sharp. The thick strip of garbled textures at the bottom edge of the display very annoying see easily noticeable here so 55 to 60 fps with frame generation on xcss now i'll switch to fsr frame generation in game implementation same upscaler and just change frame generation to fsr 3 Resume the game, check out the real world latency. Yeah, XCSS frame generation had a lower latency than FSR frame generation. Okay, now I'll stand next to this tree, move the camera around. Just observe my character's head. Okay, his head is not flickering, but his hair is looking a bit pixelated. Somehow, FSR frame generation algorithm is able to render my character's face properly unlike XCSS frame generation and standing next to a tree ok just observe the bottom edge of the display that thick strip of carbon textures is not present in the case of FSR frame generation smoothing effect it's quite good again 55 to 60 fps FSR frame generation makes our shadow look a bit blurry it's looking a bit soft unlike XCSS frame generation see so both of these frame generation techniques come with their own artifacts in this game it's up to you which one you want to use that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day